will to milk, dairy strength, and I'd say balance in the cows. And we, we always had this objective, but since 2000, we've been, Tom's been working almost exclusively with Dove, and we've incorporated AAA, and I'd say mascal, gibber, leaf for strength, and uh, then super would, would have been a great bull for, for milk and fertility. And we're just trying to blend that milk and fertility and then come back with strength. And then if we feel the cows have enough strength, we're not afraid to use production again. But and lately, this year now, we've been using uh, Slash, uh, Big Malky, Marsman, Tabasco, bulls like that, you know, a, a great opportunity yeah. for any uh, uh, breeder. Yeah. And I was delighted. Uh, I'm delighted with the with the bulls. Paddy Pat here has been an advisor. He is him that did the mating over the years, and he's done he's done a great job on on that. So he has he's done he's done most of the mating. He, even years back, I did I myself, I myself for Paddy advised me on what bulls to put on different cows and that. So he did. What kind of cow are you aiming for? Was it a long term breeding goal uh, here? Uh, on it the was a long term breed. A, a fairly. Uh, uh, a, a, a middle of the road cow with, with lots of milk that it lasts a good time with good feet and different things yeah. and all them things but you know, you know uh, we're like, balanced like, it. And we're delighted to have uh, five homebred excellence and like Dove are delighted to be associated with five homebred excellence yeah uh, it's, it's it's a serious achievement and one of them has, has a daughter and she if she's lucky she could be six excellence in a row and it, it's pretty rare and like we, we weren't particularly breeding for excellent but you know excellent shows we want an excellent cow that's hard wearing yeah you, you know so so that's the type of cow we were after and i think yeah. that's why we ended up with five excellence in a row and productive performance of the herd is also very good tom oh, you is, know is, focusing yeah. on kilos of milk solids oh, here oh yeah 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 you did 8800 liters to the co-op at 3.33 3. Yeah, 3. yeah, 3. yeah. 3. Point over uh, 650 kilo of milk solids like yeah. it must have been always included in your breeding oh, as well. Oh yeah, 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 I've always included that. I, I wouldn't have gone particularly for protein, but uh, I. But late, like lately, lately, well. lately we've noticed that uh, you know we've a cow there, uh, 3.91 protein last lactation, a great cow, yeah. Lassipi. Yeah. And what she buys? She's actually on four Lassipi protein this year. Lassipi. And Thomas Absolutely. just said and since since, since we went, a yeah, few we of the bulls that red, really red, increased protein bulls. would have been Mascal, Gurini. Uh, Lassipi and then some of the salmon, new salmon yeah. bulls, we're really seeing an increase in protein and, and like to be honest if Tom was 46 he, he'd love to work on because we're yeah. getting the protein now yes. yeah. and, and the cow and the strength and uh, it, like the sky's the limit and you must remember Tom's parlor is, is 1984 and the feeders are old and none of the top cows are fed extra. Performing well on, on this commercial grass based system yeah, Tom, yeah, yeah. and bring them down the road and they can go up through the gears once once they're fed but yeah. also like, I must comment on the body condition score of the hair they're all in great nick and I suppose why, why is that how are they such good nick? Is well, it, well I, I think it's to do with you know you'll find that with the triple A it's the extra bit of strength like we found this like I, I commented we're both very busy this spring and, and I said to Tom the heifers are, 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 are so, you know, lovely conditioned heifers with strength and, you know, we're beginning to see the triple A kicking in. Yeah. And, you know, it's the five, like like Jester was a five way back in the 90s and, and there's a five in Mascal and a five in Gerudo and, and, you know, we've a lot of five mm. get into the cows and it's lovely to stand behind the cows and see the cows with that natural strength, if you just keep them healthy, they look in good condition. It's I'm here today for the first time, and I must comment, Tom, the, the uniformity as well of the of the cows. Do you know? Yeah. They're, you know, you can see them very consistent cows. I think it's a magnificent herd of cows, um, with excellent productive performance. Yeah, yeah, Tom, yeah. That, you, that of course you're very proud of. 